So Brandon, we saw we saw the horse last week. Do we see the the bird this week? What are we what are we gonna see? Oh, um, <laughs> whatever it takes just to have fun out there and just to get excited. Um, whatever comes to mind, you know, it's one of those things where your emotions just lead you to do different things. And I wish I can tell you what it's gonna be this week, but I guess we won't know until that play happens. Brandon, did you sense that this team had to play with more emotion? It definitely. We, we got to this point in the season where every game would dictate where the rest of the season goes. All of our games remain in our conference games, and each one we win puts us a step closer to our goal of reaching the ACC title game, and we understand that with, with just one more loss, we're pretty much out of the title hunt for that game, and that's pretty much our biggest motivation. How difficult is it to stir up that kind of emotion on the road against a struggling Virginia team with, with who knows what kind of crowd's going to be there? It's not difficult at all because it wasn't too long ago that Virginia completely dominated our team not too long ago, the last game in the Orange Bowl. That's been a game that we're, we're, we're fueling off of right now, even though it's been so long ago. Um, it, it's so present in our minds, even the guys who were here and those who were being recruited here at the time. So, you know, it's not, it's not the issue of Virginia is an underachieving team because they're a great football team. They've been in positions to win. Just they have been unfortunate in the situation or two. So we're definitely not going in there with that kind of mindset, thinking that it's going to be an easy game. Where were you for that game? Were you on the sideline with a recruit tag or at home? Oh, no, I was on the sideline um, as a junior high school. Lucky enough to be recruited to the University of Miami at that time. And what, what were you thinking as that whole thing ended and they're closing down the stadium and you're looking at the scoreboard? It was kind of those things where, you know, you, you leave and unexpected, you know. You, you wasn't expecting that to happen, but it's unfortunate in sports, you know, sometimes that things like that happen at moments like that. It just makes you strong as a team and as a program. And Coach Randy Shannon, you know, it was his first year here, and he's definitely fueled off that, and he's, you know, reminded us of that this week. What did the dancing do for you guys on the sideline? The whole, uh, you know, that sideline routine that was happening seemed to be something that was going right along with the playmaking, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was It was actually something that we came together with as a team and as a defense, and it actually started last week against Duke, but a lot of people didn't get to see that because the game wasn't broadcast on one of the national networks. But it was something we started last week um, that we just wanted to – you know, to continue each game and just allow ourselves to loosen up and have more fun out there. Did you find the play was more consistent with the loosening up, the things you guys were doing in, on the sideline and stuff? I, I definitely I definitely think so. We, we, we put ourselves in a position to make some outstanding plays and just being able to have fun. You know, as an athlete, you're naturally having fun when, when you're making plays. And the more plays you make, the more fun you're going to have. And, you know, we have that mindset now. We know that if we go out there and have fun, you know, the plays are going to come.